everyone welcome to my channel i'm sharmila rajkumar thank you so much for clicking on to this video in today's video i've created this makeup look right here which is a classic south indian makeup look this look can be worn for all those events that are celebrated at our homes right like grab operations baby showers and small small pujas and things like that and this is really easy to create guys it took me just 10 15 minutes to create this and you can also do this it's not a very big deal to create this look it's very very simple to be really honest with you and yeah if you want to know how i created them please continue watching and if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and that would mean the world to me so yeah i think i've said everything and we'll just jump straight into the video coffee me pain also cough the soil yes Firstly I'm going to start off with moisturizing my face using this Cetaphil moisturizer you guys know how much I love it so in fact all the products that I'm using today are my favorites have taken less than usual uh, simply because I didn't felt that dry that day so it can become heavy sometimes now i'm taking this aloe vera gel from patanjali and i'm massaging it into my skin what this does is it gives that sticky base for my foundation to stick and also the cooling effect that it gives is addictive and now i'm going to apply some lip balm to moisturize my lips now that everything is nice and prepped we'll move on to the foundation for foundation as you can see i'm taking this um nykaa skin genius foundation it's actually a genius foundation and i'm dotting it all over my face it might look a little lighter but it matches my body really well so yeah and i'm blending it with my beauty blender i would highly suggest you to use a beauty blender to blend your foundation simply because it gives that flawless finish so if you guys want to know more about this foundation i can definitely do a detailed review on it but to spill the tea it's a damn good foundation guys it's 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 amazing it's not full coverage though but you can definitely build it up without even thinking you know it is not patchy it blends like a dream Now what I'm doing is I'm just dotting some extra foundation to the areas where I feel like you know I need more coverage. So as you can see layering is not at all a problem still it gives that natural glossy effect which I am addicted to nowadays. Look at the finish guys. Oh my god. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm dotting it under my eyes. I'm using the shade caramel which is a shade or two darker for me. I'm using a darker shade concealer simply because it cancels out the dark circles. If you use a lighter color concealer, it might turn gray or ashy. That's the reason why most of the people don't like concealer under their eyes. So it looks more artificial if you use a lighter color concealer. So now I'm going to set my face using this compact powder from Lakme. I'm going to set it under my eyes, my lids, um my smile lines, all the usual areas that I tend to crease, but I'm not going to set whole face simply because I don't want to get rid of that glowy finish that the foundation is giving me. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows to fill it in I'm going to use this Maybelline um eyebrow pencil I'll leave the product name down below So uh, as you can see I'm initially outlining my uh, eyebrows and then filling it in It gives you more control and where your product should be settled and things like that You are simply you're not going all over the place you are just filling the right uh, amount of product um you want to comb through um several times to see this sparse area clearly so that's what i'm doing right here and voila one eye is done and the other eye is done off camera now i'm taking this wet and wild rose in air eyeshadow palette and i'm taking that particular transition shade and running it through my transition area if you want to invest in one eyeshadow palette for rest of your life this is it guys This is the only palette that you would ever need. 
Now I'm taking this orange shade and I'm placing it in the outer corner and also dragging it into the crease. It's okay if you apply the product in your lid as well. We are going to anyway clean it up, but make sure you're creating nice depth to your eyelids. That's what we are going to do with this particular shade. Also, make sure to blend this color with your transition shade so that we don't have any harsh lines going on. And now I'm going to use this concealer to clean my um, lid area so that my shimmer stick really well and also it doesn't uh, mix with that orange shade. I'm picking the color with my fingers and I'm just placing wherever I need the color to be and I'm also gonna use a tiny shader brush to reach the areas where I couldn't reach. And here comes the most important part. I'm going to pick that same orange shade that we have applied in our outer corner and I'm going to blend it with my shimmers. So it creates more um, a smokiness and it looks more cohesive and well blended. Now I've taken this clean blending brush and I'm blending everything um, out so that there is no harsh edges. With a domed shaped brush I'm also picking that orange shade and I'm running, th running it through my lower lash line and connecting it with my outer corner. And I'm also going to apply some shimmers in the one third of my lower lash line and also in my tear duct area. Now I'm cleaning my edges with the concealer to make it more crisp. So that's what I'm doing right here. So at this stage you can definitely go ahead and apply some coat of mascara but I'm going to do a liner. I've taken this Maybelline gel liner and I'm lining my eyes. So if you are someone who is not great with a liner like me, you can definitely go ahead and apply um, gel liner because it gives you more control than the liquid one. As you can see, I'm suffering for the liner guys, but I really, really like how it looks on me because I have a huge eyes. So liner looks great on me, but I'm not good at it. So this is what I came up with. I've also applied the same gel liner in my uh, lower water line so that it looks more balanced out. Now it's time for some mascara. This is this uh, Maybelline Falsies uh, drama something <laughs> but it's an awesome mascara that I can tell you. I'll leave all the product details down below. So guys while you're applying mascara you want to sort of um, go through individual lashes and take your time because uh, lashes define you know makes you look awake and things like that so take your time while you're applying mascara and it creates that awesome drastic change which i always wonder how <laughs> So now I'm going to take this Zivana palette. This is their contour and highlighter palette and I'm going to contour my face with this. So as you can see, I've placed the contour color right below my cheekbone and I'm blending it upwards. Okay, you definitely don't want to blend it downwards guys. It looks more awful. So please blend it upwards. As you can see, I've contoured my cheekbone, um, I'm also contouring my jawline and I'm also going to contour my nose with the same colour but I'm going to use a different brush for that. So guys, while um, contouring your nose, you want to make sure that those two lines are close enough and you also want to sort of join those lines with your eyebrows so that it looks more natural. 
and now i'm taking the same zivana palette and i'm picking that particular highlighter shade and i'm gonna highlight my face so if you have more textured like me you want to stay away from the highlighter but i won't because i love them if you love highlighter please go ahead and do that but if you don't want to emphasize your texture please don't apply highlighter in those areas now i'm taking this color bar cheek illusion blush and i'm applying it on the apples of my cheek and i'm blending it with my contour shade And here comes the final step guys, I'm taking this uh, Nykaa Matte Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Coop Surat and I wasn't sure with this particular shade. So I ended up using many shades and as we all do, I mix lipstick like a crazy girl. Now I'm taking this Scarlet Surge uh, shade from um, Lakme 9 to 5 range and I'm outlining my lips with it. And finally, I've taken this Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Nefertiti and I've just applied in the center part of my lip so that it gives that plumped effect. And finally, I've added this earring and a bindi and voila! This is the final result guys. And that's it my loves. It's really easy to create if you have right products and tools. I hope you all liked it. If you did, make sure to like this video and if you want to stick around for this funny face consider subscribing to my channel and yeah i'll meet you guys in my next video until next time bye guys stay home stay safe and play with your makeup <laughs>